Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jussie Fly, and today I'm going to show you how to waterproof your amp by just simply using rubber dip and E6000 and duct tape. Now, right now I'm taking apart my speaker. I'm going to get the amp out of the box. Unscrewing the speaker drum or speaker driver. And this is rubber dip. It's it's uh, basically like liquor liquorized rubber, and it dries like a, like rubber, and it's kind of flexible. It works really good in the video. So you just disconnect your speaker, or if you haven't made a speaker yet, do hook up the amp first. See what parts get hot. Because what you can do is put hot glue on in parts that get hot and that would help promote cooling. And while you're waiting for, you know, the sealant on the box to dry, you can be doing this. But I already had the box built, so I'm just taking it apart and getting the amp. And this amp's by from a Beats pill. The Beats like battery stopped working so I just took it out and apparently it runs perfectly fine on a 12 volt battery which is crazy I think that chip has like a little converter in it or something see beats but it's really simple all you gotta do is take the rubber dip and submerge it in the rubber dip about one inch per five seconds and do at least two to three coats I recommend three coats and take down any leads of wire like any leads from the wires and make sure all the wires are facing one direction like don't have a bunch of wires going all over the place but that's just just common sense I'm guessing as in boombox electrician or electrician especially electrician but I'm just taping all the depth taping all the wires down of electrical tape and what would make that easier um, if I took duct tape and put it around the chip just in case the um what's gonna call it just in case the rubber dip leaked and I had to take it off without having it on the chip alright so just dip it at one inch per five seconds just kinda very slowly this is sped up about four times make sure it fills in all the gaps and everything now if you put duct tape over it um it'll go in a duct tape instead of with the amp see what happened with me is is I put it in with the board being naked so what happened was some of the glue got under the tape and didn't dry but it didn't it didn't mess up the amp or nothing it just took a long ass time to dry but see that's what it looks like and make sure you have like a paper towel or something over it cause this stunk is hard as hell to get off a carpet so just put it on a rack put like a little tissue up under it hang it for about 30 to 45 minutes minimum in between coats and chill for 30 or 45 minutes alright so that's what it looked like on the second coat see so just do it I mean on the first coat see so just dipping it in about at the same rate now this is the second coat now the speaker has been working fine for me for you know a good while it's been about two weeks so far 
but just to be on the safe side I definitely recommend doing two to three coats definitely three coats I mean you can do ten coats if you want but that's just overkill really but if you're like trying to buy this like three hundred dollars not three hundred dollars like fifty dollars then yeah I'll do like five or six coats but see I'm just slowly pulling it out listen to my bird chirping and the fumes, the fumes are really strong I forgot to mention that so definitely do it in a well ventilated area see I kinda kept the fan running but it was still too strong and the fumes are also flammable forgot to mention that earlier they're flammable so be careful if you're like smoking around this stuff you don't want it to catch fire now only thing I'm worried about maybe well if it dries it, not, it didn't say anything about the cure like the dry rubber dip being flammable just the, like the liquid and vapor is flammable see see how it's kind of like push pushing out the okay y'all saw how I was pushing on the tape and the thing was coming out at the thing the glue or rubber dip that's why I need to put duct tape first but it worked perfectly fine so right now I'm taking the q-tip and just basically painting it on any like little air bubbles or little gaps or seams now you can also go over with E6000 and it's quicker and less of a hassle and you're gonna also want to take the E6000 and glue the ends of the wire and don't wait <laughs> I just realized that's a Harley Quinn background on my phone I'm weak oh my gosh but yeah just take the E6000 and seal up the ends of the wire now this will work for maybe about of like a foot and a half to two feet but if you're gonna go deeper than like three to four feet I recommend definitely sealing up the ends of the wire because at like the deeper you go the more the water pressure is and if you think about the wires the wires are acting like a straw so even though there's copper wires in the tubing there's still a little tiny air gaps that the water can seep down so all you have to do is just E6000 the ends of the wire now see I have some wire nuts and all I gotta do is twist the wire wires together in the wire nut and that will seal it but with me I'm constantly remodifying the speaker so nothing can be permanent that's the case of me but yeah just simply just paint it on there on the top ends of the wires and then put E6000 on top of that all right right here that's what it looks like with the second coat completely dry or actually technically the third coat because I put the what's we'll call it on there see that's the E6000 it's just a clear flexible glue just smudge it on there you can kind of lick your finger to make it more uniform and now I'm about to wire up my box and put everything back in it another thing I forgot to mention and record um, once you did all your coats and put the E6000 over any little air gaps what you need to do is take some duct tape some clear duct tape doesn't matter what color and wrap it on the outside of the finished amp now what that will do is prevent any abrasion from taking off the rubber dip and making holes in the rubber dip and then that will pr protect it from getting 
damaged by water because if you just put the amp in there with the rubber dip on it without mounting it just putting it in there eventually you know from it moving around the rubber dip will get worn out and then that will create a hole which next time you go to you know the creek or um, rafting or tubing or diving or anything like that um, the water will get into that little crack and then you won't have any more fun so yeah definitely take some duct tape and wrap it on the outside of the amp it kind of acts like a shield in a way alright so right now I'm just wiring up my box I also use the E6000 to keep my battery in place I used to use little wooden braces but the E6000 is really flexible and if you put on large surface areas it'll definitely keep it from not moving and wire nuts are definitely your friends because it's quick and easy to take the wires on and off <clears throat> and there's not a bunch of tape residue or anything like that so I'm just hooking up the LEDs hooking up the speaker line hooking up the tweeter making everything to make sure everything is working the way it should putting the top back on and it's ready to roll just about all right now that I got the speaker set everything should be good I'm gonna just keep playing the music and slowly it's just gonna rise up all right so if you want to play non copyrighted music all you have to do is go here to YouTube hit the little button, select a video, and then hit the music button. And let me see. I'm gonna play something else. You know that's a good one. All right, let's get the thing rolling.
right, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'm glad it worked. I had my doubts. But between everything, it works perfectly fine. Okay. Yeah, thanks for watching. And hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully, I hope hope that it helps y'all out. Y'all trying to make a wonderful speaker too. Alright, peace.